Hey, Leslie, I, uh, I took a look at the pictures you provided and read the, uh, uh, the, the statement uh, on the document. Um, all right, so let's just take a look at some of the pictures. These are their pictures. These are the pictures that you sent to me. Um, there are cracks in the concrete crown. This is the flue liner sticking up, and this is cracks. This chimney does um, need to be, uh, the crown needs to be repaired. And so that, that's something that is, uh, uh, definitely needs to be done. These are all their pictures. These are all the concrete crown at the top of the chimney. Here's where, where they took the chimney cap off so they could inspect the flue. This hairline crack right here is a weather-related crack. Could even possibly have been put in, uh, happen when the, um, uh, when the liner was installed, could have been put in crack, to be honest with you. Uh, I've been in this business 40 years. I've probably seen just about... Uh, everything. Uh, no worries from a crack, a, a vertical crack uh, like this. This is not causing any problems. Um, let's, I'm going to scroll down here to where they have arrows pointed. Here we go. They've got arrows pointed at flu joints, but you can't really tell what's going on with this. Uh, typical, uh, uh, when you scan a chimney, and that's called a level two inspection, when you scan a chimney, you're looking straight at into the joints. This, whatever they're shooting here is they're shooting straight down. They're probably just using a handheld camera. So it's hard to say, but there could be a missing flue joint there. It's hard, hard to know. Uh, let's see, and then they were worried about this crack right here. That's, um, again, that's weather related. You could see that nothing could escape through that and it doesn't open up with temperature changes uh, this is their scare uh, picture here um, so they're talking about uh, you could see all chimneys are lined uh, with clay liners that are two foot in length so every time one butts up to, uh, next to another uh, they're mortared these joints are mortared and sometimes the mortar does fall out you can see that from this illustration Let's go back up. I think that's all I'm seeing. Other than we talked about the um, the damper. Remember, these are vented gas logs. Vented gas logs means the damper must be blocked open 24/7, rendering the damper useless. So as long as the damper can be opened and blocked open, uh, you don't have to worry about the damper. Now, if you switch over to wood burning, then uh, if there is a damper issue, a new damper could be installed. So just to give you some heads up on that. Uh, so what I'm seeing is a new crown at the very top of the chimney. Uh, I think the damper is a non-issue. Not sure about the flu. Let me sh show you a quick demonstration on how uh, chimneys are scanned so that you can look right into the flu joints. Scanning a flu system uh, requires uh, specialized camera equipment for looking horizontally into the flue joints of a typical fireplace flue system. Typical fireplace flue systems are 13 by 13 by two foot in length. So every, uh, every time two pieces of two foot lengths of flue pipe are butted together, the, the joints are mortared. And here's, uh, this is just a typical, uh, what we do every day looking at the inside of a flu system. This is called a level two inspection. We're just looking for uh, openings in the flu uh, system itself. And you can see this, this particular chimney has lots of them. We're back now. Um, also, uh, what was I gonna say? These, these cracks, uh, fine cracks and a mortar, uh, missing mortar joints can be easily sealed with a uh, process called a uh, heat shield um, and that may be something that they can help you with. So maybe they can seal this up with heat shield, not have to gut it out and reline the chimney and re-pour the crown and I think the damper is a non-issue. Remember, the, uh, you can also just switch the gas logs over to something uh, that does not produce any carbon monoxide, does not need the chimney to vent, and that would be vent-free gas logs. If you uh, switched over to vent-free gas logs, uh, the only additional thing you would have to do is uh, pour a new crown on the top of the chimney. Vent-free gas logs, the reason they don't produce any carbon 
monoxide is because it's complete combustion like a gas range in a kitchen. Blue flame, white tip. They look beautiful. I have them in my house. They produce no carbon monoxide. We operate them with a damper closed, which means everything comes into the house. All the heat comes into the house and whatever the emissions that they put off comes into the house. Perfectly safe. So that'll give you something to think about. If I can uh, answer any questions for, for you, give me a call. Uh, 704-526-6348. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep.com. Thank you.